One of the most influential and visionary leaders in the artificial intelligence field was just fired by his own company. And that this company is none other than OpenAI, the leading AI research lab that created ChatGPT, the powerful natural language generation system that can write almost anything you can imagine? Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, that's exactly what happened on Friday, November 17th, 2023, when Sam Altman, the CEO and co-founder of OpenAI, was abruptly dismissed by the board of directors, who said that they no longer have confidence in his ability to continue leading OpenAI. This shocking news has sent shockwaves across the AI community and beyond, as many people are wondering what went wrong. What does this mean for OpenAI and ChatGPT? And what will happen next? In this video, we will try to answer these questions and more as we explore the reasons behind Altman's firing, the reactions from the AI community, and the future of OpenAI and ChatGPT. Stay tuned, because this is a story you don't want to miss. So, who is Sam Altman, and why was he fired from OpenAI? Sam Altman is a 38-year-old entrepreneur, investor, and AI enthusiast who is best known for being the former president of Y Combinator, the startup accelerator that helped launch companies like Airbnb, Dropbox, Reddit, and Stripe. Altman is also a co-founder of OpenAI, which he joined in 2015, along with other prominent figures like Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Reid Hoffman. OpenAI's mission is to ensure that artificial intelligence is aligned with human values and benefits all of humanity, especially as it approaches the level of artificial general intelligence, AGI which is a hypothetical form of AI that can perform any intellectual task that humans can. Altman became the CEO of OpenAI in 2019, and since then, he has been pushing for OpenAI to become more ambitious and aggressive in pursuing its goal of creating AGI. He also wanted OpenAI to become more profitable and competitive by creating a hybrid model of a non-profit research lab and a for-profit company. This model, which Altman announced in 2019, was met with mixed reactions from the AI community, as some feared that it would compromise OpenAI's original mission and values, and that it would give too much power and influence to Altman and his investors. Altman defended his decision, saying that it was necessary to raise more funds and attract more talent, and that it would not affect OpenAI's commitment to openness and ethics. One of the most notable and impressive achievements of OpenAI under Altman's leadership was the development of ChatGPT. It was first released in 2019, and since then, it has been updated and improved several times, reaching the latest version of ChatGPT4 in 2022, which has 175 billion parameters and can generate texts up to 10,000 words long. ChatGPT has been widely used and praised for its applications in various domains, such as education, entertainment, journalism, and more. For example, ChatGPT can write essays, stories, poems, songs, code, tweets, and even generate graphical artworks given a prompt or a request. However, ChatGPT also poses significant risks and responsibilities as it can be used for malicious or harmful purposes, such as spreading misinformation, generating fake news, or impersonating others. Therefore, OpenAI and Altman have faced many ethical and social challenges and dilemmas, such as how to ensure the safety and quality of ChatGPT's outputs, how to prevent its misuse and abuse, and how to balance the trade-offs between innovation and ethics, and between openness and safety. Altman has been vocal about his views and opinions on these issues, sometimes sparking controversy and debate. For example, Altman has argued that ChatGPT should be accessible and democratized to everyone, and that the benefits of ChatGPT outweigh the risks. He has also claimed that ChatGPT is a step towards AGI, and that it could potentially surpass human intelligence and creativity. 
The exact details of what led to Altman's firing are still unclear, but some sources have suggested that it was related to his vision and strategy for OpenAI and his communication and management skills. According to the board of directors, Altman was not consistently candid in his communications and that they no longer have confidence in his ability to continue leading OpenAI. Some former and current employees of OpenAI have also complained that Altman was too secretive, authoritarian, and dismissive of their opinions and feedback, and that he created a culture of fear and distrust within the company. Altman has denied these allegations, saying that he was always transparent and respectful, and that he had the best interests of OpenAI and its mission at heart. Altman has also been involved in some controversies, both related and unrelated to OpenAI and ChatGPT, that may have contributed to his firing. For example, Altman was accused of being involved in a failed coup attempt in Myanmar, where he allegedly supported a group of rebels who tried to overthrow the military junta that seized power in February 2021. Altman admitted that he had met with some of the rebels, but denied that he had any role or influence in the coup attempt. Altman has also been criticized for his support for controversial figures like Peter Thiel and Donald Trump, who are known for their anti-democratic and anti-immigration views. Altman has also revealed that he is a doomsday prepper who has stockpiled food, weapons and gold, and has plans to escape to New Zealand in case of a global catastrophe. Sam Altman's firing from OpenAI marks a dramatic turn of events for one of the most influential and visionary leaders in the AI field. His departure leaves a big question mark over the future direction and leadership of OpenAI, which is facing increasing competition and challenges from other AI companies and organizations. While OpenAI's board is looking for a permanent replacement for Altman, the interim CEO is Mira Murati, the chief technology officer of OpenAI, who joined the company in 2018. Murati is expected to steer OpenAI through this turbulent period and ensure that it continues to produce high quality and impactful AI research and products. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting about Sam Altman. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.